And now, these messages. Mr. Bob! Nice move, Diggle. Smack, smack, sugar smacks. Give me a smack, and I'll smack you back. Fun to eat those smacks of wheat. Diggle. Kellogg Sugar Smacks. Kellogg Sugar Smacks, a part of this complete breakfast. Now, what is that? Jump shot. Give me a smack, and I'll smack you back. Kellogg Sugar Smacks. You'll dig them. And here's where my grandpa hid the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. Why didn't he hide it? So nobody would steal it. That's why there are traps everywhere. The secret formula makes Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The secret taste of Frosted Flakes makes Tony say... They're good. Tony! You okay? Yeah. Just gotta learn to keep my trap shut. Raggedy Ann and Andy, sponsored by Kellogg's. Starting your morning with Kellogg's will help you say, it's going to be a great day. Sunday, watch your favorites risk their lives on the fifth annual Circus of the Stars with Rock Hudson, Linda Gray, Brooke Shields, and many more Sunday at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Now stay tuned as Michael Lernan and John Houseman star in A Christmas Without Snow, next following news break. Thursday, December 11th, a special two-hour premiere of Magnum P.I. Even with Hawaii as a playground, Magnum's idea of fun is danger. A special two-hour premiere, December 11th. Next Tuesday on The White Shadow. I'm supposed to head a fundraising drive? Coach Reeves may be in over his head as he tries to get sports stars to come to Carver. Join Rosie Greer, basketball's Elgin Baylor, baseball manager Sparky Anderson, Jimmy J.J. Walker, and more guests. The White Shadow next Tuesday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. John Lennon always drew a crowd. He still does. This evening, nearly 24 hours after he was shot and killed, a crowd is gathered where the murder took place on Manhattan's west side. The man charged with killing Lennon is 25-year-old Mark David Chapman. He grew up in Decatur, Georgia, and lived and worked in Hawaii. A devout Beatles fan, it was said. Chapman worked as a security guard in Hawaii, and on his last day at work, signed out with the signature, John Lennon. Chapman, arrested at the scene of the crime, is being held without bail. Yoko Ono, the wife of the slain rock star, says there will be no formal funeral service, but that Lennon's fans and friends will be asked to pray for his soul. CBS News will present a special report about John Lennon tonight at 11.30 Eastern Time. In other news, the major obstacle to adjournment by the Congress was a filibuster over this session's major civil rights bill, a fair housing law. It's no longer an obstacle. Today, the bill was killed in the Senate. In Warsaw, the Polish army has warned that it might take action against militant unions if they persist in activities against the government. You won't believe the pictures you'll get with a one-step and new Time Zero Super...